Hello all, and welcome to tonight's beer review, which I am dubbing, why is my phone flashing beer review? It seems to be flashing for some reason. Oh well, um, I should get this out of the way so it doesn't distract me. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do a second take on that. So, yeah, I'm going to be doing a beer review tonight, because I figured I might as well go and get a growler filled, because I haven't done that in quite some time, as you guys know. Don't live in Kailua anymore, so I can't go to Three Peaks as often as I used to. I kind of miss it. And there are some great beers, but my problem is um, the beer that I wanted to drink the most was 11.4 ABV, and 32 ounces of an 11.4 ABV beer would wallop my ass like something else, man. No, no way on God's green earth I could handle that. So I decided to get something of a more reasonable ABV that I have yet to review. It's been at Three Peaks before, I think maybe two or three times before, kind of cycles on and off the menu there. And it's from Aloha Beer Company, uh, one of the local brewers, this one in Kaka'ako, that I don't review too often. Uh, I don't know why, I guess because... I, I guess because... Um, you know, I, it doesn't really enter my headspace all that often compared to other local brewers. brewers. Uh, and there's no real reason for that. They're a perfectly good brewery. It's just I don't get around to them too often. But at least today I can, well, tonight anyways, I can go and rectify that problem a little bit by reviewing one of their beers. And what will we be reviewing tonight? We will be reviewing Kashmir Red Lager. Now, this is a red lager, amber lager, that is a single hop beer. It is brewed with Kashmir hops. And um, I'm pretty sure Kashmir hops is just a hop varietal and not hops from Kashmir in India. Though... Um, if I'm wrong about that, I'd love to be corrected. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just a hop varietal. It's not a hop varietal that I am uh, very well acquainted with, and I'm looking forward to making the acquaintance of it today. So, without much further ado, let's go and pour this out and review it. Okay. There we go. Oh, it actually came off pretty easy today. Ah, that's because it's a new cap. I think they swapped my old cap with a new one by accident. Okay. So, a nice clear amber red. It's definitely say it's more amber colored than red color. Though there's definitely a nice red tinge to it with a frothy, fizzy to frothy off-white head. Ooh, interesting. Very strong ozone smells. Some juicy tropical notes. Another smell that I can't quite place. It's kind of weaving in and out of that ozone smell. But very nice odor. Ah, melon. That's what I would say. Or cantaloupe. Well, or maybe cassava. Cantaloupe cassava, thereabouts. Let's go and get it on the pellet, shall we? Okay. 5.6 ABV, 30 IBU, so definitely not very strongly hopped. Yeah, 
interesting interplay of hops and malts here. Definitely bready malts. Very, very bready. Brown bready. Malts definitely show up in the mids while the hops are fairly forward. There's an initial blast of hops in the front. Malts sort of assert themselves in the mids. And then hop bitterness kind of makes its appearance again in the finish. But it finishes fairly clean except for a sort of subtle bitterness on the tongue. And an even more subtle breadiness in the long finish. So not completely clean. Fairly dry. There's only a hint of sweetness to the malts that kind of shows up in that long finish there when the mall when the bread kind of bready malts kind of show up for the second time. The hops don't actually have too much flavor dimensionality to them. They're definitely bittering, especially in the front and in the finish. But other than a slightly fruity top note, slightly fruity, slightly juicy, very, very, very slight. It's definitely much more dry than anything else. It's more of a top note, an effervescent note, and again, very subtle. There's not super, there's not really much um, taste, you know, flavor, complexity to the hops on the palate. On the nose, definitely. How it interplays with the malts is also fairly interesting. But I'm, I was kind of wishing it would be as interesting on the palate as it is, you know, in the bouquet, in the nose. Mouthfeel is perfectly fine. Slightly tannic. Hmm. Kind of run out of things to say with this beer. Um, no real flaws. And while it's interesting to kind of explore single hop beers, you know, you're kind of left with, um, well, is it a oh, hop as to my taste or not. Well, it, this one definitely seems to have some very strong aromatic aspects to it, but not too much palate aspects to it. Okay. Worth a try, I would say. But again, not really, not really blasting it out of the park for me. I'd like to see this hop, you know, kind of used with other hops to see where it goes. Maybe something that's, um, you know, gives a, lends itself to a little bit more flavor dimensionality on the palate. 
I do like how the, you know, the different, you know, the hop aspect and the malt aspect kind of shift and weave together. I just wish there was a little bit more complexity there. And that's pretty much it. All in all, a well-made beer. Just kind of, um, not really, you know, okay, but not really having something that takes it to the next level. That said, I'm going to turn it down. Decent enough. And I've kind of run out of things to say about this beer. So, with that, um, again, repeating the name, Kashmir Red Lager, 5.6 ABV, 30 IBUs from Aloha Beer Company. Single hop beer with Kashmir hops. Interesting bouquet, ar aroma, interesting interplay of flavors on the palate, but not super complex on the palate either. Well, folks, that's your beer review for tonight. Hope to see you again. Got another great and interesting review for tomorrow. And I might be uploading some reviews tomorrow if, you know, I get around to it because I'm lazy as hell, as you all know. And um, wishing you all a... Uh, well, tomorrow's Good Friday, and I'm going to be reviewing, or making a review tomorrow. So, yeah, Good Friday review. Eh? 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 Um, that's your beer review for tonight. That, blah, 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 blah. That's your beer review for tonight, folks. Cheers.